Cleveland City Council returned to its regular meeting schedule on January 10th. Here are the highlights from the meeting. Cleveland City Council introduced legislation authorizing the city to accept funding from the United States Treasury Department to continue the ongoing emergency rental assistance program to eligible Cleveland residents. Due to COVID-19, many families have fallen back on their monthly rents and utility bills and are in desperate need. The city's share of the funds is estimated to be about $2.8 million. Cleveland City Council introduced a resolution urging Cleveland Marshall College of Law to change the name of the school because its namesake, John Marshall, was a slave owner. Though Marshall opposed the slave trade, he nevertheless owned slaves most of his life. Historians believe that Marshall owned hundreds of slaves on his several properties in various states and bought and sold slaves throughout his life. The resolution was sponsored by Councilman Kevin Conwell. Finally, Cleveland City Council introduced a resolution urging Mayor Bibb and the city's newly established COVID-19 task force to require businesses to provide hand sanitizer for the public at their points of sale and gas stations provide hand sanitizer at their gas pumps. On January 6, 2022, Mayor Bibb announced a new COVID-19 task force to monitor pandemic trends, encourage residents to get vaccinated, and offer policy advice to help tamp down the spread of the illness. Council's resolution, sponsored by Councilman Kevin Conwell, notes that one of the better ways to stop the spread of the COVID-19 virus is to sanitize hands after contact with items and objects in the areas that have high concentrations of people. The resolution says the task force should assess businesses in other areas where people congregate to ensure responsible protocols are being followed, including washing hands and using hand sanitizer. For more information on everything that's happening within Cleveland City Council, visit their website at clevelandcitycouncil.org.